back to the most news in the morning. 25 minutes past the hour right now. Your top stories five minutes away. First, though, an AM original, something you'll see only on American Morning. It's an emotional story that we've been following for more than a year of a homeless teen named Kenneth Chansey. His dream of going to college and becoming a neurosurgeon was just that, only a dream. But things started to turn around when we hooked him up with an NFL star. Our Thelma Gutierrez, live in Los Angeles this morning, to show us just how much his fortunes have changed. Good morning, Thelma. Good morning, John. Well, it's hard to imagine that it's already been a year. It's been an incredible journey to witness and to be a part of. Now, Kenneth has dealt with so many hardships in his life, but because he believes in himself, he's got other people to believe in him, too. I'm Kenneth Chancy. About five years ago, I was beaten, neglected. Three years ago in a foster home. Last year, just last year, in a homeless shelter. I've been at the bottom of the pits. Now, I'm on top. I first met Kenneth last year while working on a story about homeless children in Los Angeles. Kenneth wasn't your average 17-year-old. He was junior class president, a starting running back on the football team, and an honor student who dreamed of going to Harvard. And I'm so it was hard to imagine this is where he and his sister lived on Skid Row in downtown Los Angeles. I don't know how I deal with it personally, but I do. I just wake up with a smile every morning. Kind of got to. You don't want that negative vibe on your shoulders. With already, you got the hardship of being homeless and broken. We aired Kenneth's story. My mom used drugs. My stepdad used to hit me. Then we received a surprise call from someone who wanted to meet him. So we set it up. Hi, Kenneth. Hey, Kenneth. Kenneth. This is Nandi Asamoah. Hey, He's with the Oakland Raiders. Yeah. Yes, I did it. Yeah. <laughs> Nandi Asamoah is the highest paid defensive back in the NFL. Now the football player with a $45 million contract was inviting Kenny, a homeless high school football player, on the Asamoah College Tour for Scholars, which is an all-expense-paid trip that Nandi's foundation sponsors every year. I wanted to invite you along for the tour. Oh! We met up with Kenneth and 15 other students as they arrived in Washington. They're all from at-risk neighborhoods in Los Angeles and Oakland. And all were handpicked by Asamoa to be on the tour. Welcome to the X2010 tour. We're in Washington, D.C. Here, the NFL star and the teenagers are about to experience a whole new world. And upstairs, there's a nine million pound rotunda. I'm in the United States Capitol. I'm in the place where bills get signed. So what comes next for you? I believe Miss. Ms. Walters, Representative Walters, she is a state leader, which is awesome. Hey, I think it's happening now, so we're going to go to Maxine Waters' office. Okay. All right. As a professional athlete, you could be doing a lot of other things with your time, but obviously uh, you want to give back. No matter where I've been or where I go, I think every year that I do the tour is, is a new adventure. <laughs> After the Capitol, they toured the White House. Nothing like knocking down a few pins at the president's very own bowling alley. Most people who know Nandi Asamoa in the sports world know you as a great football star. How do you want these kids to know you? That's a good question. I want them to come away with a different type of hope. Like, look, this is possible. Many of the students, including Kenneth, will be the first in their families to go to college. Asamoah's tour gives them a chance to see top schools like Georgetown University up close. So your darkest time, you didn't think that you would probably go to college. Yeah, I didn't even think I was going to graduate, let alone go to college. And now your aspirations? Oh, I, I'm, being, I'm going to be someone in life. I'm, that's my biggest aspiration. I'm going to be the one changing, changing the world. After getting to know some of the students, I can say Kenneth won't be alone. And I want to be a pediatrician, and I want to be an astronaut. I like to become a theoretical physicist. Good friends we've had and good friends we've lost along the way. That's why I say no woman, no cry.
cry. Thelma, that is such a great story. I love the fact that Kenneth says that he wants to change the world. I mean, what great goals to have. But you, you, you're suggesting, though, that there's a possibility he might become homeless again? How? Well, John, after one of our initial stories aired, a CNN viewer came through and she said, I have a home, uh, an apartment where Kenneth, his sister and father can live for a short amount of time. Mm -hmm. And that time runs out in July. And so come July, Kenneth and his family may be homeless again. Wow. And uh, it's such a tough situation. Um, he is definitely going to college, though, right come the fall. Um, so perhaps, hopefully, there's you know some other people out there who may be able to help them, or they may be able to get back on their feet to bridge that gap. Uh, in the meantime, do we know where Kenneth has decided he's going to go to college? Uh, Kieran, so far, you know, when we talked to Kenneth, he said uh, that it looks like at this point he's probably going to go to college here in California. Now, he did apply to go to Harvard. After all, this is his dream ever since he was a little boy. But unfortunately, he was not accepted for the coming year. Now, Kenneth says that's because he was competing against kids who had 4.3 GPAs. And his GPA, um, though he was an honor student, really wasn't great until his junior and senior year. Years, but his freshman and sophomore years when he was homeless and also in foster care he only had a C average so he said that he feels that that's why he wasn't accepted uh, but after all he says um, he, he goes I'm still proud of myself he goes I'm not disappointed he goes because I'm the first person in my family to go to college and I will get to Harvard so he believes in himself he continues all right well if not undergrad maybe he'll go to Harvard Medical School and he will become that neurosurgeon but tell you Hopefully with his attitude so. any college would be lucky